Okay, this is hunting for purple streetlights in Lawrence, Kansas. I'm gonna get a video 011 or 012. And this is Iowa Street right here. Right now, though, I am located right. Somewhere near here, I think. So I'm gonna go back out. I'm gonna go down and go to 23rd Street. And I wanna see where precisely some of the purple street lights are right here. And maybe just maybe drive around a couple roads, especially over. There's an open area here, meaning that there might actually be. Oh, that's right. There's one right there. Okay. This is at Hasco. Okay. I don't know if there are any others on this road because I never drove on this. I just basically want to drive along this road. And then this is probably going to be a pretty short video. Um, and I remember I drove this way. So I remember I drove this way. <coughs> Okay, this is West Hills right here. If you live in this city, if you live in uh, Lawrence, Kansas, I encourage you to drive down every single street as soon as you can and collect all the purple street light location data you can collect eventually they may start to change it like drive down every freaking road and record every purple street light that you can find then look at them on a map and think about wind and your evacuation options if there's ever a chemical attack at those lights from the air And my guess is you'll see that you don't really have a lot of options if you're able to figure out how the wind would blow. Especially, maybe it's for something heavier than actual normal air, is what I wonder. <clears throat> I know what I'm saying sounds weird, but it's not. I don't think it's wrong. I don't think it's wrong. I do not think that it's good if people don't freaking care a lot about it. <coughs> Censorship has to stop.
this is Harvard Road. Like it just seems like news stories cover like use the same terms as search terms for other stuff that people might want to find. That's my guess. And they also just limit your search results so badly that you can't find stuff anymore. If you don't believe me though, okay, if you don't believe me, do what I'm doing here and try to share it with other people. Like on YouTube, try to get as many likes as you can get for just recording where the purple street lights are. See how that goes for you. Don't talk conspiracy minded about it at all. Just do that. Even if you just show where the lights are, like in between, like you have a video where you just show the locations of those lights, for example, and see how that goes for you. So this is 19th Street here. Clinton here, I'm going to take a left and go eastward. And see where these purple street lights are on the left here. What positions? We've already seen the ones that are ahead of us in a previous video, I think video 3003. If you don't think that these matter that much, you know, well, you can still drive around them. Well, <laughs> if, it's a, if it's a chemical attack, guys, and you just look at this map of this area right now and think about it, think about, um, The park that's over here soon where there aren't any roads that go um, latitudinally through it it's not a coincidence they didn't haphazardly do their stuff guys think about wind so the terrain goes down and then we have Nia Smith here and then the terrain goes back up and towards the top of the hill there we have another purple one over there and if I'm not mistaken I might have just seen a purple street light to the left on Nia Smith but I'm not sure looks like we have one somewhere here oh it's it's just not an angle for us to see it so we have one right here at Alabama also and it's on a hill, making it more visible for an aircraft even if it was just looking at something reflecting off the surface. But this is at the top of the hill right here, though, right on this one. For wind, I'd, I don't know, somebody needs to look at what wind would do here. I, I really hope somebody sees these videos uh, that has a good resource or knows how to predict how wind would blow at various angles. Louisiana.
Then we have another one here. This one actually is not probably just purple. It's got a lot of panels on this one, I can tell. Because it's actually not really purple, but it's still really blue. It's hard to explain. It's a lot like some of the ones that they took down that were only in areas for like wind and they were still by in like residential areas. And I wonder why they would take it down. Like it would actually, at first it just didn't seem like it would even make my point as well. And they took that one down. I'm like, okay, that's kind of weird. Uh, it only looks like it could be there for like wind actually. And I noticed that there's like a body of water there, like bodies of water that reduced the wind friction too later when I thought about it. And then I thought about where the other ones were in Florida, and I'm like, oh my gosh, guys, it's for wind. It's for freaking wind, guys. But I had mentioned something about looking at LED panels. Or no, I already looked at an LED panel on another one on the same day that I saw that one, actually, in Olathe. And there were other times where they shut the lights off, and then they turned it back on, guys when I went to go look at the LED panels. The LED panels have repeating patterns that occur. And I don't see how they can be reconciled with each other, the ones that I've seen multiple of for a machine. Like, it just, they would have to, I can't say have to, but it seems like they purposely set it up like that, to look like that, whichever way they did it. It doesn't matter, because the other way doesn't seem like it would be also happen if the other one happened and I think maybe they tried to make it look like a defect by the order that they had the LEDs in initially or something I'm not sure why they did what they did but I don't see how it's not on purpose is that one way or is it the other way So I don't think it's accidental. I think they're on purpose and they absolutely place them where they place them on purpose too. And they also have to know which ones are gonna be defective for some reason anyway, when they set the panels up on the lights. Because the white ones eventually also turn purple right next to the blue ones. But people aren't gonna notice it if they don't zoom in on them. So most people would not ever notice it. But when you zoom in on them and you see that they're on the same light pole, it's like, huh. Although, that is a little less obvious than having two light poles next to each other with one out of phase with the other one that starts to turn purple also. But they might say, well, they're in the same batch. Well, when they're that much different from each other though, like really blue and then white with just a few LEDs changing, you gotta wonder why. But evidence from different, um, different, uh, different kinds of evidences make me absolutely sure they're lying about it guys they're absolutely sure i'm absolutely sure that they're lying about it and not only am i sure that they're lying about it uh i'm sure that they're set up on purpose where they're set up and i'm without doing math i'm pretty sure they're for a win guys all those things are they don't add up to a good thing at all it absolutely does not add up to a good thing guys that's a chemical attack on evacuation roads. So I'm going to keep this rolling actually because I want to go and look at uh, another place. We're still on 23rd Street, so we should see. So there's one on the right and one on the left here. So 
so the one on the right is probably more visible now, just barely on the edge there. And an accident, I think so guys. So if there was wind blowing west, or even especially if it was going, I noticed the place, but a lot of times it seems like it's for wind coming from the west southwest here in the Kansas, Kansas and Missouri area. So far from what I've seen, especially in the Kansas City area. It's a lie, guys. I just, just when I think when I think about it, I just keep thinking about it. It's it's fucked up, guys. That they they will lie that much. They have that big of a lie. I've seen like 30 cities, guys. And I didn't like put them all on a map on some of the places, but I I kept seeing where they were. Okay, they are absolutely on purpose. But the ones that you notice the most, though, are the ones on the main roads, which doesn't mean as much to people, right? Because they, if they, if you start thinking in that kind of mode that they're on the main roads, you're going to think that they're just for that local road. It's like a frame, way of framing it for people. So you, when you see it on main intersections, you're like, well, it's just for watching those areas, maybe, or something like that, right? Um, and when you drive down individual roads, like in residential areas, you'd be like, well, I could still take these other roads and go to the main road after that one. So it doesn't really matter, right? And so people are like, oh, I don't know. Maybe you know, it's not that way. So they stop looking at it, right? And they they'll also see ones in the neighborhood sometimes. And they'll be like, well, they're, why would they put it in the neighborhood over here at this dead end, right? So it's obviously, I don't know, maybe it is an accident. They just decided to put some of them when they knew what they were or saw them, just to put them at the main intersections, right? You know, that's that's okay to do, right? Well, no, it's not just that simple, guys. You, if you think about wind, they're on purpose. And it is about people being able to leave their city. And that's why they won't admit it. They're not gonna admit they're on purpose. Because once they admit that they're on purpose, though, they're basically admitting that they knew that they would turn purple already. Because they, a lot of the ones though at the main intersections turn purple, which should also help people see it. But um, it may not be as weird though if one shows up at an intersection that that's really blue all of a sudden though, right? Those are probably not that weird. But if they show up in a neighborhood and when they're really blue like that, maybe they would think that way. But if it's just like in the dead ends, though, even, maybe not. I don't know. It sounds like I'm refuting what I'm saying. I realize what it, that, um, and I don't, I don't get to see lights that, I actually know of maybe one example so far where a light may have just been blue when they put it up. Like totally purple when they put it up there. I've, I've seen um, comments, though, that say that that's happened. 
from some people and I don't know I'd like to see more examples of it and I wouldn't be surprised if it has happened but I've actually just never seen a light go through the whole phase of becoming really purple so I know that they I believe that they do but whether it got moved there first though when it was already purple or not that's something I wish I could collect more data about but I wasn't in those places long enough to see like over more than a year or something like that. That's why. But I've seen a lot of examples where it seems like they were seated in those places. So the places, like, so I've gone to a lot of places, I've seen them at main intersections, but I don't know how many of those actually just became purple or not, but if they do just become purple there eventually, that means they knew that they are going to turn purple, right? Already? Ones next to them, though, that are kind of defective, like if they bought them afterwards, though, and put them there wondering if they would turn purple, that's maybe not as weird to people but if you look at them in both kinds of places where they did start to turn purple though anyway they knew where they were they planted them and on that I'm pretty sure about they planted them because I've seen a lot that are not completely purple and where they are which means they, the manufacturer knew it or they knew it or they both talk to each other about it something like something is going on for sure But for most people, if they're not going to look into it like I did, though, or even notice the ones that are kind of purple, um, they're not going to care about it necessarily. They just think, well, I'm putting them there because they look nicer that way anyway. Because in other places, they do kind of, they don't put them at exactly the intersection sometimes either. You might just think, well, those turn purple, maybe they just moved them or something like that. But if you just look at all the examples that you can find, you'll still see it doesn't matter how you dice it. They knew that they were purple when they put them there before they turned purple. And that's a problem. And because of where they are, too. They seeded those lights. This is like a late that they already had a problem with purple street lights a long time back, right? And they put a lot of them in dead ends. At least a lot of them look like they're more recent than others. Like no outlets. But they're still upwind of the ways to leave. You know what? I might have actually missed where I wanted to go. If I did, I'm just going to stop this. I spent a lot, a lot of money on these guys. A lot of money doing this research. You should wonder why I would ever do that. Why would I ever spend as much in gas money on something if I'm not sure about it? I want to prove it.
at some point it's not safe to live in cities. It may not be safe to live there now. I don't know. I can't just live in the middle of nowhere. But if you really see what I see and realize what it is, it's the only way to beat it is to tell more people about it. Like, you have to tell other people. Tell other people when you see what I see. And make sure, try to do it without them, without it being known that you're telling other people about it. That's basically what I encourage you guys to do. If you, want, if you see this, you see what I see. And I'm not saying for your, not for your safety. I'm saying so that more people can investigate it without them knowing they're looking at it. And I've, I've already, it's too late for me to not, for people to not know that I'm doing it. But I still don't care. I'm still going to do it because I don't see anybody else doing it. But it would be so much better if people didn't say that they're doing it and they still did it. And told people about it. It's kind of funny because if you go and you check my videos, then you've already seen it. But uh, if you do see this and you see what I see, try to figure out a way to get other people to see it without looking at the videos. I don't know. And without putting up your own videos. Some of you should put up the videos and do what I'm doing, but there has to be two different kinds of people. One has to see it and figure out a way to communicate it to other people and have them also look at it and not tell other people right away and then keep collecting information to prove something some other way so there are other copies of this stuff other ways to prove it because the FBI isn't going to do a damn thing they don't do anything about it they can't do anything about it I don't know. I don't know. How do you beat something when they keep trying to censor us? That's why censorship is so damn... It's so damn important, guys. They have, we have to stop censorship. Until we do, though, every time you try to share the information, you're just helping them out. So, um, if you don't tell anybody, like, if you don't start telling people, you're just going to end up helping them out. And I'm not trying to just help them out because I do actually tell people in different ways. But I don't know... I don't know. How do you beat something like that? How do you beat it when they censor people? And in order to tell people in other cities, you almost have to go to those other cities to tell people, right? They have to look at a link. But once they've already looked at the link, um, they already know what they're going to look at. Alright, I'm going to stop this video.